doing? What you doing, Commander? What you doing? We need orders. We need orders. It's almost time to go. Good thing we've already had our Timmy's coffee. Or our, our Maxwell house coffee in our Timmy maker. Timmy's. Oh, and look at this. There's a wiener on the floor. There's a wiener. Who else is coming? Who do you think it is? Who do you think it is? Mm. It's the commander. Look alert. Look alert. Commander. Hey, Frank. Frank. What you doing over there? Come on, you haven't given us your orders yet. Come here. People need to know, man. What's the Galactic Federation up to today? I told you to stop talking about that. He really doesn't want to talk about it, eh? There they are. How's it going, guys? How's it going? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, what is this? What is this game we're playing? I don't like this. Wow. What's going on, guys? Why are you on the floor? I know, this is where dogs go, right? Good thing we don't got any of those. Tell them, Chevy. Tell them. Tell them. Who's a good boy? Who is it? Who is it? Do good boys wag their tails? I think they do. There comes another one. Uh-oh, now they're gonna fight for my attention. Okay, I shouldn't be getting any, my nice clothes all filled with dog hair right now. We're going out to Winnipeg right away. Uh, chiropractor appointment. This is Manitoba. This is Winnipeg. The one highway, Trans Canada. And there's a train stopping all traffic from east to west across the whole nation. We got one road. I guess we could go around the north side of the perimeter. The north side of the perimeter is actually more of a freeway because that doesn't have anything like this. But this is the actual federal Trans Canada. Should I honk back? No. No? Yeah, it's the actual, like, it's like an interstate. Can you imagine, for you Americans, can you imagine having a stop on, like, Interstate 80? For a train? It's the only thing that makes sense in Canada is healthcare. Yeah. It's about the only thing that makes sense in this country. Yeah, and that's not perfect either, but it does yeah. make sense. It's not quality, but we got it. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, at least when we get old. We'll be good. We won't go bankrupt when we start to get sick when True. we're old. Or when we decide to have children. Well, yeah. Yeah, we don't have to pay to have kids. They have to pay to have kids. That's true. That's so twisted. That's so weird. That's one thing I'll never understand. And I'm a, a conservative Canadian too. And it, it's just not a partisan issue here. It's just both sides agree. Healthcare, you don't touch that. Help your own people, you know? Why spend it? overseas wasting all our money overseas though we do a lot of that too we do send a lot of money overseas too much you know especially like with my grandpa having been in the hospital recently and uh i can't imagine what the hospital bill would have been he was in there for probably what two months a month, a month? every day i can't imagine can you imagine having lost a relative lost someone you love and on top of that get a hospital bill like a hundred, probably like a hundred thousand dollars, I bet. It's a pretty huge slap in the face. I don't know how much it is there, but I know it's a lot. I thought sometimes it's like $10,000 a night, I think. Yeah, that's a big slap in the face. That's one thing, you know, it, it gets abused up here, our healthcare system. People use it that shouldn't use it. It's not perfect. There are loopholes that need to be closed. But I am thankful that we got what we got, at least. This train is... I just wish so fertility treatment was covered and all that. Yeah, yeah, because we're, do we're doing some fertility treatment stuff today, right? I got to go and uh, bring a sample in to uh, for them to examine. 
with a microscope. I don't know how they look at it. I don't want to know. I gotta bring them a sample and give them some of my blood. Well, we've got no good news. Well, actually, we do have some good news. We both got cracked real good at the chiropractor. You feel great. Do you feel great? Yeah, a little sore. Okay. I feel great. So we came all the way out here, all the way out here for the the test. I gotta drop off a sample at the lab. Turns out this lab is closed because of COVID. Nice of them to let their patients know. So the lab I was supposed to go to is on the other side of the city and I have to be there before noon and it is now 3 p.m. Again, nice of them to let their patients know. Weren't we just talking about how they have terrible customer service and they treat their patients terribly even though they take all of our money? Yeah. So it continues. So I've got to come back into the city another day, Monday to Friday. So take another day off work and be here before noon to get the sample done so that we can continue the next steps of our fertility journey or fertility whatever this is. It was already a mess before. Now COVID has really made it even more of a mess. So we came all the way here. Well, at least we got a chiropractor appointment that went well. And uh, it's snowing. There's that. Britt is messaging the nurses or whatever the office right now because that's the only way we can get a hold of the fertility clinic is by sending these weird little like text message type things through an app because no one in the city picks up a phone anymore. no one picks up a phone you can you can call all over the place no one picks up their phones now and they blame everything on COVID. so we're trying we got to send them a message and hopefully get a response back everything is so confusing so messed up and it, it already was kind of it was already bad. I don't know. If, if we can't, if we don't get pregnant in the next year or so, going through this, I say we go to the next province, go over to Saskatchewan once, hopefully the restrictions will be lifted by then, and just go over to the next fertility clinic. Because we'll have to save for a long time. But... Yeah. It's just frustrating that, uh, you know, the free service is better than the service you pay for. It's been a... Kind of. <laughs> It's 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 been one of those days, a little bit frustrating. So, uh, you may have gathered we have no good news yet on the baby front. No good news. We're still working on it. We'll get there. But we do know that once we do get a baby, at least they will know that they are very much wanted and have been, and that we've been waiting for them for a long time. So they will get extra love, if that's possible extra excited. Have they responded? <laughs> Not that fast. No? Probably going to take a week or two. Yeah, probably. Or a month. Due yeah. to COVID. Because <laughs> she had to go and get all of her uh, uh, tests done and stuff. Again. Because of COVID. Again. She had to go again and get all these blood tests and all these other things that she needs to do on the, the girl side of things. And then I had to go and redo all of my stuff. But like today, we keep hitting delay after delay. By the time I get my stuff done, they're going to tell you that you need to go and get your stuff redone. And it'll just go back and forth and back and forth and nothing's gonna get done. There goes the doctor right there. So the doctors are here, or the nurses anyways are here, but they don't have the doors open. Due to COVID. Due to COVID. It's ruining everything. Or it's not ruining everything, it's making everything so much more difficult. So much more difficult. Okay, so uh, enough about this. Oh wait, we wanted to go to the festival Festival of Lights. We bought a ticket. What you can do is you drive through like it's called a Winter Wonderland, right? Or a Festival of Lights? Winter Wonderland. Winter Wonderland here west of the city uh, where they had the Red River X. Uh, we're gonna wait for it to get dark and we're gonna go and check that out. See some Christmas lights. It's the biggest display in Manitoba as far as I know. Should be exciting. Gotta get our minds off the ball of this frustrating mess. Yeah. Disappointing. On a happier note, here's the Winter Wonderland. We're here in uh, Headingley, which is just west of Winnipeg, and Point West Auto Park. No, that's not what it's called. It's called the Assiniboine Downs, right? Yeah. Assiniboine Downs? There it is. No, that's not it. That's just a screen. A big TV in the middle of the road. I like it. We need one of those. 
Look at that. Wow, that's bright. That is very bright. That is way too bright. I've never been here at night. Where are the Christmas lights? We're not finished with Christmas yet. Ukrainian Christmas is uh, on January 7th, so Christmas isn't over yet. I mean, I'm close to Ukrainian. I'm Polish. Yeah, my neighbors. Know. I got quarter Polish. I mean, that that's pretty close. Yeah. I don't know where to go, though, for all these lights. I'm just following That them. way. That's why, oh, that's signs. There's Winter arrows and everything. Arrows. Well, they got a... You'd think that the sign would be a little bit more intense. You know, it's supposed to be a big show. Why are all, the, all these guys leaving? Is there something we should know? They're probably done. Oh, is it the exit too? I guess so. Maybe. I heard that the lineup for this on Christmas Eve was about six miles long. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't come on Christmas Eve. Yeah, no kidding. Put it off for a while. We were thinking of doing it, what, on the 23rd? I think so, yeah. Didn't work out that way, but probably for the better.
And we made it home. Is there any dogs here? Am I sitting on any wieners? No, just Where's a that? weasel butt. Oh, the commander's sitting on a wiener, though. That's an odd angle. He does it all the time. Whenever he's the commander, we don't ask questions. That's right. He does what he wants when he wants. How'd you enjoy the lights? They were okay. I expected more color, more creativity, a few yeah. extras, but it was still worth going. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, it seemed, like, what did we say, very commercialized? It was sort of, obviously one lighting company got the contract for the entire show, which I guess would make sense, but yeah. it was, they were all the same kind of lights, but it was still good. I mean, I'm not trying to complain or anything. Uh, a few more light colors would have been nice, though. It was the same five colors everywhere. Yeah, and maybe some snow sculptures. Yeah, and like, even just like some, like the snowman that we have up front even, they could have done like displays of like the Grinch and like Whoville and the Peanuts and like they could have done so much. But we're being a little bit nitpicky. because Right, because we, it was still amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah, and uh, we're big Christmas, Christmas-aholics, Christmas-holics. Christmaholics. Christmas, Christmaholics. We love Christmas, so we're always looking at, like, oh, if I was in charge of this, we could have done that, we could have done this. But, but we're not. Yeah, and they put a lot of work into it. They did a it really good job. pretty incredible. They were planning on doing nothing. So I guess this is a... We shouldn't complain. They were trying to... They were, they were going to cancel it because of COVID. There was a petition that went out, so... Mm -hmm. they, they usually open... I think at the end of November, or beginning of December, but instead it only opened on December 12th. Yeah, there was, everyone was outraged. You can't cancel Christmas. So they, they went through with it anyways, and they probably kept it a little tamer because of COVID. Let's just cancel the world, why don't we? Not allowed to have fun. No fun allowed. No, no fun. Even if it's in your own home or your own vehicle. And if it's outside. Yeah. And if it's following all the health code orders and everything. No, it's fun. Not allowed. That's right. Better cancel it. People might start singing. Oh. oh, no, not singing. Singing's illegal, actually, right now in public. Can you believe that? I'm gonna sing. But you can get in trouble. I don't know if they'll fine you. I bet you they legally could. I mean, the health order, no singing. <laughs> Anyways, off topic. The light show was... Uh, the light show was great. They it was put a still lot of, really, really nice. Very impressive. And we started the day off a little bit disappointed uh, because of our whole fertility journey. And those of you who have been following us long enough know that we've been going through this journey for a while now. And there's nothing they can find wrong. So, like, like how do, how do I say it? Nothing big they can find wrong with either of us. Yet. Yet. So they don't know why it's not working. And we've been trying for three years now, over three years. And, and now I've been home and I'm going to be staying at home and uh, giving it our best shot because we, we, we want this to work. And uh, we just need to get uh, the clinics to work with us a little bit and for this whole mess in this world to calm down so that we can get back to at least somewhat of our regular appointments. And I've reached a bit of a breaking point. It's thrown a bit of a wrench into all of our plans, that's for sure. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting, so that's what that was all about. But uh, you Sorry know, about the negativity, guys. We we ended the vlog <laughs> off good, I think, um, at the Christmas. I mean, Christmas spreads joy to everybody, so. That's right. So we wrapped up our Christmas season with a light show. I won't be taking down the decorations for a little while, though. Ukrainian Christmas still occurs on the 7th, so... There's still Ukrainian Christmas. That's right. No, we're not Ukrainian, but there's no. still Christmas coming. We're so. not going to celebrate it, but out of respect for the Ukrainians... And Christmas. We will leave them up until January 8th. Because technically Christmas is not over until the Ukrainians say it's over. Absolutely. So we're leaving up all our stuff till then, but... For now, I guess this was the, the end of our Christmas season where we were excited to be able to go through there. And uh, we would recommend it if you guys want to go check it out and you're in the area. It'd be a lot more fun if you have kids to bring. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
But you could just bring big kids like us. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with you. Wait, we're not allowed right now. No, gotta be in the same household. Tisk, tisk. Terrible idea, Trekker Josh. <laughs> All these rules. None of them make sense. And we don't, we fully know that, so. We know, but we're not in charge, so whoever's in charge must make sense to them somehow. I don't know. Anyways. I'm gonna put this together. And then I've got to get to bed. I've got stuff to deliver tomorrow. People need me. I am needed. I am essential. Not me. <laughs> she goes back to work beginning of January sometime. Hopefully. If you guys were wondering, there were some comments about that. We'll see. If the overlords allow us to go back to normal, somewhat normal, if they allow her to go back to work, she should be back at work on like the 8th or something. But Let's see, they're going to review it when the time comes and see if we are ready and worthy. None of this makes sense. None of this makes... Well, some of it makes sense, but a lot of it doesn't. Chevy, close us off with something clever. Say something clever. Do it. Uh, uh.